it's always good to find balance on your mat if you can and and practice those getting into those sticky spots and breathing through them and you know i think one of the most beautiful things about the uh physical yoga practice is we're working on that balance between effort and ease so a lot of the previous classes we've done um which michelle i just put up on uh, youtube and i need to trim down the the head and the tail of them still but we did a lot of revolving and twists um which they can also feel like um they can also feel very tight um as well so finding tonight the balance between effort you know like moving yourself and really kind of physically trying to get into this pose the twist or the you know this one's kind of a little bit more like a inversion of sorts and then the ease in which you allow yourself some grace you allow yourself some space to breathe okay so with that please come down and just lie on your belly hands stacked one palm on top of the other forehead on top let your heels drop out and so shutting off your vision so that your eyes are closed and you can hear the sound of your breath as you breathe into the mat removing that breath into an ujjayi breath so in and out through the nose maybe noticing your ribs as they expand and press into the mat and then as you exhale and you feel your ribs flatten back down and so especially tonight i think it's important especially with the change in seasons to notice if you have all of that heat that effort of summer and maybe your life and your practice needs to find that balance with ease as the days get shorter take two more breaths here and then gently prop yourself up pulling your elbows back start with a gentle shoulder stretch so left arm out palm down perpendicular gaze away leave leaving the left ear onto the mat right arm underneath and roll yourself onto the left side you can take that top leg and just drop it back behind you that's too much on your shoulder then you can stay stacked again trying to find ease as you let yourself slowly marinate in this posture maybe making slight adjustments feeling into the left shoulder head and noticing to the release as you rest your head down So letting the mat act as a pillow underneath your head so that you're not straining the muscles of your neck or using any muscles to hold up the weight of your head. Slowly on your next exhale, come back into the center and just roll onto the other side, right arm extended, 
right ear down, coming on to the right side of the body, and then maybe letting the left leg drop back. Using the left palm to gently press into the mat so that you can find maybe a little bit more of a deeper stretch or you can ease out of it. As you continue your ujjayi breath here, make sure that you're finding some deepness in your breath and you're letting the breath guide you in and out of the pose. A little bit stronger, easing out. Slowly roll back into center. And then you're actually gonna roll all the way onto your back. Now, if you have your wall really nearby, you can actually rotate so that your feet are on the wall. Knees stacked over your hips. And then you're gonna keep the right foot on the wall and lift your left leg up. Reach up with your left hand, finding half happy baby. Hold down just on the left side. And then use the leg that's on the wall. And if you don't have the wall nearby, you can, you can still do this leg on the floor. Where you're using that leg that's either on the wall or on the floor to stabilize you. To keep your spine on the mat. Inhale. Exhale, pull down. And inhale. Exhale, pull down with the left side. And slowly release, place both feet either back on the mat or back on the wall. And then press the left foot down. Right comes up, reach up with the right hand for the outside of the right foot. And gently pull down. Inhale. And exhale. So find a little bit of pressure in the leg that is grounded or the foot that's grounded either onto the wall or onto the mat. Again, letting that be the stabilizer. Ground down also through your right shoulder. As you gently ease this right knee out to the side. All right. Slowly release. Either feet down on the mat or up on the wall. You're just going to press to lift your hips up. And then slowly lower them back down. So either bridge pose or modified bridge pose at the wall and now for full happy baby reach for the outside of both feet and if you can't reach both feet then you can grab the outside of your ankles elbows are to the inside of your knee lay your spine down on the mat and then pull down breathe in feel your chest rise and then exhale, pull a little bit more with your hands. Now, keeping the activation in your hands, see if you can start to press your feet up a little bit more. Pull your shoulders down, find a very active, happy baby. Breathe in. And out. One more time, inhale and exhale, slowly release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Grab onto your ankles, pressing your feet together. Open your knees out wide. So your feet stay lifted off the mat. Modified Supta Baddha Konasana. And then having hold of your ankles, 
You're gonna start to lift your feet up overhead and then rock forward and back. Knees are wide. And once you can come up, find Baddha Konasana or seated uh, bound angle pose. Grabbing onto your ankles, sit up tall. Keep your knees wide and then exhale, fold. As you fold, press your elbows onto the inside of your thigh. So you're grounding down and then reach your chest forward. Try and maintain a straight spine. Pull your chest towards the inside of, of your arches. And inhale, come up. I'd like you to take your feet and now move them more forward so that you have more of a diamond shape. Inhale, holding on to your shins, lift your spine long. Again, exhale, start to fold. This time, find a little bit more room. Hands can either come to your feet or you can slip your hands underneath your shins, grounding the palms down. And then if you take that option, your nose is gonna be a little bit closer to your feet. You can use your hands on the underside of your legs to find some leverage and pull your chest long. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale, start to come out of the posture. Pull your feet in and then close your knees. Sweep your knees over to one side. You're gonna come into child's pose. If you'd like to, you can turn to the front of the mat if you're facing the back like me. Big toes together, press your hips back and walk your hands long. Stretch yourself out as far as you can first. Take an inhale and then exhale. Let your forehead down, let your elbows down. Feel your heart melting down towards the mat. Take an inhale. And exhale. All right, back here with our third eye grounded onto the mat, eyes closed. Listen for the sound of your breath. Ujjayi in through the nose and out through the nose. You're in a very internal and intuitive posture, really looking inward and having some introspection. Is there maybe something in your life right now that is feeling out of balance? Something that you feel like you've been trying to force, maybe. <laughs> force a certain outcome and it's just frustrating. You feel like you're not getting anywhere. So perhaps dedicate tonight's practice to an obstacle or a situation in your life where you feel like you're using a lot of force and where you could really use a little bit more ease and more grace. And notice and come back to that situation. Bring it to the forefront of your mind when you feel yourself also forcing or really pushing into a posture. And can we pull a little bit farther back from that edge? and ease our way forward. Slowly lift your head up. Come forward. Move your hands wide, about shoulder width distance apart. And then knees will stay wide. Rock forward, let your hips start to come down. Press into the mat and lift your toes up. 
Allow your hips to come down and forward any amount that feels good on your low back. And this is a posture for me that I need to practice a lot of ease because it feels good, but if I just start pulling right into it, it can feel forced and it can feel a little icky on my low back. However, if I allow my hips to slightly come down and then push out and gently make my way into a fuller pose, maybe elbows even start to bend and upper thighs come a little bit further down on the mat, and that eventually I make my way into an even deeper posture than I could have if I had just pulled straight into it. Right. Finding yourself maybe hips down on the mat, elbows bent, or still easing your way there. Hold, lift your gaze forward, take a deep breath in and out keep pressing the big toes together inhale pull your chest more forward and exhale out one more time inhale and exhale roll back onto your knees drawing your navel in come back into a child's pose this time put your palms together in a prayer like position and bend your elbows Bring your thumbs to the back of your neck. Close your eyes. Again, think of that obstacle. Think of ease and grace and fluidity and the prospect of slowing down. I think my mom's probably laughing because I do not slow down. I feel like I'm never slowing down. <laughs> So if you're somebody that likes to move a lot, you know, maybe start introducing moments of pause. Slowly extend your arms forward, look forward, pull yourself up. Come back into that king pigeon variation, big toes together, pull your chest forward. Notice it's a little bit easier to slip deeper into that posture. Maybe lift your gaze a little bit higher. Pull your chest through and then roll back on your knees. This time tuck your toes and gently press up into a plank and then downward facing dog. Legs bent at 90% and if it feels good, maybe pedaling out those legs. Let the Head relaxed, pulling the spine long as it droops down from the hips. Find some stillness in your posture. Press your fingertips down. Inhale, hips high. Exhale, chest comes a little bit closer to the ground. Again, inhale. And exhale, grip your finger pads down. See if you can pull your elbows a little bit more up towards the ceiling, wrapping your arms externally. Again, inhale. And exhale. And gazing forward, slowly make it your way to the front of your mat. Maybe pulling up on fingertips. And then you're going to find your blocks and just set them one on either side of your mat so that they are within arm's reach as we move through this flow. Inhale, lift up Ardha Uttanasana. Feet are hip width distance apart and exhale, fold. Pull yourself down into your fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Again, Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, fold. Fingertips come down, step your left foot back. If you have the props and you wanna use them, then place them underneath your hands and pull your chest forward in your lunge. Slowly lower the back knee down, press the back foot down. Inhale, reach your arms up. 
Again, ease in with your low back. As you pull your right knee forward, chest up. Start to pull your elbow tips down by your side, drawing your shoulder blades together on your back and opening your heart up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, pull down. Continue to make this movement. Inhale up. As you go up, you might notice that you're pressing a little bit into the front foot and coming out, and that's fine. Let's find a little bit of fluidity here. So I think in the fall, one of the reasons it's such a, a beautiful season is because it's so fleeting, right? You got to find the that just one day or a couple days of the week where the leaves are changing. And it's really representative of a cycle of death, right? Something's coming to a close. Something's coming to an end. In Hawaii, Jane, I don't know, you'll have to tell us. I think you guys lose the leaves too. So I hope you experience some semblance of fall. <laughs> All right. Chest open. Hold. Lift your gaze. And then let your hands drop back behind you. Use your core here to hold yourself up. And then find the front of your mat. Slowly start to straighten your front leg. Coming into Ardha Hanumanasana, our half splits. Using the blocks, frame your front leg. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale, press out. Exhale, slowly ease yourself down, stretching the right hamstring. And then plant the right hand down, move the blocks out to the side, step back plank, and then downward facing dog. Knees bent, inhale, and exhale. More time, breath in, and out. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward. And pull the blocks in underneath your hands. Press down, reach your chest forward. Keep your right leg strong. And then exhale, lower down, press the top of your right foot down. Blocks out to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, open your chest. Inhale up. And exhale, open. Inhale, pull up, straighten, press into the left foot. Exhale, open your chest, ease your left knee forward. So still, as you pull up, you find that the legs pull in, there's a strength, a wrapping around the hips. And as you exhale, opening your elbows out to the side, letting the left knee draw forward, the hips will start to come down and you get a greater stretch in your right psoas by allowing yourself to, you know, release a little bit with that integration and let the form start to melt. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down into your chest opener, lift your gaze, let your hands drop back behind you. Bring them around, find your blocks if you'd like. Straighten the left leg, heel up, hands framing the left shin, reach your chest forward, inhale, and exhale, bend. So finding a way to flow instead of resist. Inhale, pulling up slightly, and then exhale, let your chest float down. I'm... Then pull that heel in, plant your feet down, move the blocks out to the side, hands come forward, tuck your back toe, 
Lift the right leg up and step it forward. Uttanasana. And then pull your heart up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, press your hands down into the floor, Uttanasana. Inhale, pull your heart up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Inhale, up. This time, exhale, come down. Step your right leg back into a nice lunge. Pull the blocks in. Reach your chest forward. And then you're going to stay with the right leg lifted. Keep the right leg strong. Start to walk your hands up to your left thigh. And then slowly start to bring your torso perpendicular to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, take a little vertical twist over to the left side. So right hand reaches forward, left hand reaches back. Inhale, bring both arms up. And then exhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. Inhale, flow up. Exhale, open and stay. Pull your torso back so that your belly doesn't rest on this front thigh. And then take the left hand, reach it back behind you, find the right thigh, and inhale, stretch your right arm up. You can take the left hand and actually start to bring the back of the left palm over the outside of that right thigh. Exalted warrior, inhale. And then exhale, slowly cartwheel down, bringing both hands to the inside of the left leg, left foot. Rock forward and back, keeping the left knee and then left shoulder matched so that they graze each other as you rock. And you're gonna lower the right knee down. Come down onto your forearms. And again, you can use blocks here. Maybe coming down forearms onto a block, low or medium height. Keep pulling that left knee towards the left shoulder. And then notice here, if it starts to Build a little bit of resistance. You can really pull that left shoulder in. Maybe find some ease out. Maybe find a little bit of gentle movement that allows you to sustain the posture. And then notice also if your breath has seized up or if you're the length of your inhale or exhale has gotten shorter. See if you can start to spread it back out. Slowly bring your hands back down to the mat. You're going to, very similar to last week's class, take the left hand, so the hand that's closest to the knee, Bring it back behind the left ankle and back forward so that your foot is more in the middle. Start to bend your elbows so you get your shoulder down low, almost into the crevice of that left knee. And then drop your gaze down so that you are looking down maybe at your navel or down the length of your right leg. Breathe into your nose and out. Whew, so hard to hold, inhale and exhale. 
start to slip the left hand back to the inside of the left foot and then walk your left foot out to the left side rotate the left toes out to the left side lift your right knee back up rock forward and back and then you're going to step or draw that right foot forward coming into malasana at the front of your mat again block is always nice to set underneath your tailbone especially if you need a little pause here Whew, notice the difference left to right side of the inner thigh and then hands come down lift your hips high pull your toes back forward uttanasana drop your head down and inhale slowly lift your heart and exhale drop back down alternating with your breath pulling up as you inhale into ardha uttanasana and then dropping back down into uttanasana as you exhale finding that synced syncopated movement letting it be a little bit more intuitive and a little bit less forced and rigid right, next time you're in uttanasana plant your hands down step your left leg back Pull the blocks in, press your hands down into the blocks and pull your chest forward. Right knee, right ankle stack. Left leg is strong, left heel is lifted. Now slowly start to climb yourself up. Into a high lunge, pull the left hip forward, right hip back. Reach both arms up, inhale. And exhale, start to come into a vertical twist, opening to the right side. So left hand forward, right hand back. And I like to make a big circle with the right hand. So completing the circle, bringing it back up as I inhale. And then exhale, open. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, open, hold. Come a little bit deeper into your lunge. Stretch your fingertips in opposite directions. Then pull in two with your legs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Come back up and bring both hands down. Binding both hands, place to the inside of the right leg. Inhale, draw your chest forward and back. Then gluing the right inner knee and the right shoulder. Rocking forward and back. Ooh, and then lower down onto our elbows or our forearms rather maybe bringing a block in losing your breath you can lower the left knee down and drop your gaze down in and out feeling your chest start to slip past so that your knee is a little bit higher than your chest I'm trying to keep the pressure on the inside of the foot so it doesn't roll to the outside. And 
slowly bring your palms back down to the mat, move the block away. Lift your back knee up if it was lowered. Take the right hand, slide it back behind and then to the outside of the right leg. Racking forward and back again, easing that right shoulder underneath the right knee. Maybe starting to bend your elbows a little bit so your chest gets closer to the mat. Exhale, start to slide the right hand back to the inside. And then heel toe the right foot out to the right side of your mat, toes out, heels in. Plant your hands, slide your left foot forward, out wide, malasana at the front of your mat. Ease down, taking hands to heart center again, using a block if that feels good underneath your hips. And slowly release your hands down. Press your legs towards straight. Rotate your toes in. Inhale, lift up Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. And exhale down. Time, inhale up. And exhale down. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back into a nice long lunge. Bring the blocks in, place them underneath your hands. Pull your right knee forward and lower your left back knee down. Press the top of that foot down. Pull the blocks back so that they're at your hips and then inhale, rise arms up, Anjane Asana. Lift your gaze. Exhale, bring hands down, find the blocks, and then come into your Ardha Hanumanasana, hands on blocks, right toes flexed, and then press your heel forward. Any amount, coming into a full Hanumanasana variation. Inhale, pull back, re-square your hips, spread your toes on the right side, and exhale, press forward. This can also be done with your front heel off the front of the mat. That might help it glide a little bit more. So if you want to move your heel off the mat, inhale forward, exhale back. Blocks can be on any height, but it's nice to have them so that you aren't opening up to the left side, but instead keeping your hips square. So just glide this right heel forward and back. Always pulling back in, correcting the hips so that they stay squared to the front of your mat. Have a gentle bend in your front leg. And then when you find a spot, like, yep, I think that's as far as I go tonight. Stop, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, even though your hands are pressing down into those blocks. Take three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, two. More time, inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, start to press into the blocks to pull your right leg back. Press your right foot down. Move the blocks off to the side. Tuck your back toes and step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, pull up halfway and exhale, drop down. Inhale, pull up. So this is a tightening and a drawing together of the muscles of the hamstring. And then exhale, fold, lengthening the hamstring. Inhale, pull up, 
and exhale down. Last time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale down, hands down. Step the right leg back. Pull the blocks in. Press them underneath your hands. Reach your chest forward. And then lower down the right knee. Press the right foot down. Slide the blocks flat back. Inhale, press up. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Draw your shoulder blades together, palms towards each other. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down. Find the block, start to straighten your left leg. Pulling the left toes up, ground the heel down. Adjust your blocks, maybe a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, start to press your left foot forward, maybe sliding it off the mat. Inhale, pull back, flare your toes, exhale, press. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Finding and ease into this difficult posture. Not pressing too hard into it. That's how we can actually injure our hamstring. So use the props. Once you find that edge that's sustainable, close your eyes, take three breaths in, and out one. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. And exhale. Inhale, start to pull the left heel back. Press the left foot down, move your blocks off your mat. Plant your hands. And slowly step to the front of your mat, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, fold. This time, inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. One more time through. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, fold down. Sweep your arms wide. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, open your heart, open your chest. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands down and step your left leg back into a lunge. This time, place your left heel down so that the outside of your left foot is parallel with the back of the mat. And inhale, open up Virabhadrasana too. Reach your arms out in opposite directions. Draw your right knee forward. Inhale and exhale. Keep actively pressing through that back foot on the outside edge. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Reach your arms up. Fingertips touch and then exhale. Come down, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, pull up. Feel the energy pulling up your legs. Maybe even the pelvic floor lifts. And exhale out. Inhale, pull up. Tap fingertips. And then exhale out. Virabhadrasana two. 
arms out in opposite directions. This time, let them float down behind you. Interlace at your low back. Inhale, pull your chest up. Keep committed in that right front knee. And then gaze is directly out in front of you. Start to fold down. Ostrich pose. So unlike the lunge that we were doing earlier, the right shoulder and the right knee have a lot of space between them. In fact, you don't want them to touch. Maybe let your head hang all the way down, arms lifting off your low back. Keep committed in the legs, but let the head drape down. Exhale, bring your hands down to your low back, release the bind, bring them down underneath you. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat, to the inside of your right foot, lift your back heel up. Rock forward and back. And then step to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urva Hastasana, hands overhead. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Hands come down, step the right foot back. And then right heel comes down. Inhale, open up, Virabhadrasana 2. Gaze, chin is in the middle of your chest. Reach your arms out in opposite directions. Commit a little bit deeper into that front knee. Think about the expansion here. Limbs out and then slowly press that front leg towards straight. Reach your fingertips up, pulling in. Fingertips tap and exhale, open up. Virabhadrasana two and then inhale, pull up and in. Think about the energy pulling up right into this pelvic area and then out through the hands. Exhale, Vira two. Inhale, pull up. Exhale, open. Inhale, up. And exhale, open. Virabhadrasana two, and then float to your hands down behind you. Take the opposite interlace, fingertips. Inhale, open and expand your chest. Keep that left knee opening out to the left side and fold right in the middle and down. Fingertips lifting off your low back. And your left inner knee and your left shoulder are now like opposite men. Right, so you're almost pulling away from that front leg as you fold forward into ostrich. Can you let your head rest down and pull the length of your spine even more? Breathe in and out slowly, lower hands down, bring them down underneath you. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then exhale, walk your hands forward to the front of your mat, both hands to the inside. Back forward and back. And then step all the way to the front of your mat, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. This time, just one time. Inhale, rise up, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, open your chest. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Step the left leg back. Step into Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, open up to the left side. Exhale, expand, fingertips forward. Inhale, pull fingertips up. Exhale, let them drop and come all the way down behind you. Inhale, interlace your hands, chest lifts. Exhale, fold. Pulling fingertips up away from low back. Take a breath in. And hands come down, exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Start to walk them to the right side. This time, as you come to the front of the mat, left heel lifts, lifts up. You're gonna bring both of your hands to your right foot. Start to, or actually first bring your hands down on either side. Just step this left leg, the back leg in a little bit. Bring it more to like a warrior one stance. So it's a little bit over to the left side, but you have a little bit stronger of a foundation. Then drop your head down. Right hand is out. Step back into the outside of your right foot. So just like we did before. So your shoulder is pretty close to the underside of your knee, your knee pit. Start to bring the left hand onto the right foot, maybe dropping down to the left forearm. And if you want to, you can pull a block in and rest that left leg on that. So I am not going to be marrying you, but this is where we're starting to get to. Let the head drop down. Your gaze is down your extended left leg. And using your hands, start to work your head to your right ankle. Sometimes I like to use the right hand and push my right calf forward. It's not a comfortable pose, but you have to kind of drop down into it, find some ease, balance that with the effort. A very forced introspection. And slowly work your way back out, unwinding your hands. Lift the back heel up, step the left foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up halfway and exhale, fold. Inhale, press all the way up, standing, unwind. Reach your hands up, exhale, open your chest. This is like the anti-venom to head to ankle. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, fold. Step your right leg back. Come into Virabhadrasana two stance. Open up. Ah, expand. Inhale, press leg to straight, fingertips overhead. Exhale, Vira two, and hands float down. Opposite interlace behind you. Inhale, open your chest, and exhale, fold forward. Lifting your hands off of your low back, finding the strength here in your legs. Feeling the work that they are doing to hold you here. And slowly bring hands down and to the mat. Start to walk your hands forward, lift the right heel up. And so right here, I was a little late on this last time, I'm gonna step this right foot a little bit forward, heel down so you're more at an angle, like Virabhadrasana one. And then drop down 
shoulder to the inside of the left knee, slide the left hand back, out to the left side, and then back out to the outside edge of that left foot. Drop your head down. Start to work your head under. The more that you press out of that front knee, the harder it is. So you wanna keep a deep bend in your left knee. I like to use my right hand, reach across at the top of the left foot and then left hand working the calf forward. Maybe dropping down onto your right elbow. And then once you get into as tight of a awkward space as you can, can you still take some deep breaths? Can you find some ease here in this very effortful pose? With your next exhale, start to slowly unwind your hands, your head. <sighs> lift your back heel, step forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up. Here, toe heel your feet apart, toes out, heels in. Exhale, drop down into Malasana. Hands together at heart center. And slowly reach your hands forward. Ooh, lower yourself down. Draw your knees into your chest. Knees out wide, reach up, find happy baby pose. Reaching for the outside of your feet, drawing them down. And bringing the soles of your feet together, moving your hands to your ankles. Knees wide and then and let the knees or the feet come down, either taking your final posture in Supta Baddha Konasana, or if you'd like to, you can start to press your feet a little bit more open for that diamond shape, or press your legs all the way to straight. Hands can rest on your pelvis or you can drop them out to the side. Feel the ease of your breath in and out. And notice if, as you lie here on your back, that obstacle or situation that you brought to the forefront of your mind at the beginning of class. It starts to seem like not so much of an unmovable force. Perhaps instead of it being a boulder that you can't pass, it is something that you can slip around or by or that you can simply rest your back upon. Not something to move, but something to move around. Something to flow around.
If your legs are extended, start to pull your knees up. And if you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, start to draw your knees together so that we all land with knees up towards the ceiling, feet planted. Just pressing your feet down slowly, lift your hips one time into bridge. And then exhale down. Drop your knees over to one side. And gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Pull your chest forward. Draw your hands together to heart center. As you inhale, pull your thumbs up. Be curious. Follow your bliss. Namaste.